Hello, freak bitches. I would love to play you the dinosaurs are not real video. Do it. Just do oh, it. Oh, God. See if you can play it, JB. We, we probably can't play it on YouTube or we'll get pulled, but we can play uh. the v the audio, right? Play the audio. We'll put the video up on the screen and play the audio for you, and you could just fucking, your head could turn beet red. And oh. Smoke's going to come out of your ears. Because the thing is about these videos, and this is the issue that I have with not just videos, but also with blogs. Mm. Like, <laughs> people, you're writing things, and you're not, you're not being checked as you're going along. Right. So it's, it's just you broadcasting an idea. It's not a conversation. And because of that... You can give off the illusion of expertise without mm -hmm. being checked. Here it goes. Dinosaurs never existed. And by oh the way, oh my God, Eric Dubé. This is the, the flat the, Earth guy. The, yeah, the guy that does two hundred proofs the Earth is flat. <laughs> that everybody has debunked. Fucking a uh, thousand. No, Holy no, no. Shit. Shills. Shill, yeah, debunked sorry, yeah. Shills are. Listen to this guy. Richard Owen of the Royal Society. Don't you dare mention Owen's name, you British asshole. Museum Natural History Department in 1842. <laughs> Or, in other words, the existence of dinosaurs was first speculatively hypothesized by a knighted museum head, coincidentally, in the mid-19th century, during the heyday of evolutionism, <laughs> before a single dinosaur fossil had ever been found. Wrong. They, they, they pause, found media pause, pause that. Pause every time, pause. <laughs> uh, dinosaurs... Uh, we, we discovered marine reptiles and the first dinosaurs about a century before that. So that right there, Eric, you're fucking wrong. <gasps> Whoops. It's like, don't bring your flat earth bullshit into my profession. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> we'll keep going. Yeah. Keep, keep this rolling. <laughs> Uh, mainstream press worldwide got to work hyping stories of these supposed long-lost animals and then lo and behold 12 years later in 1854 Ferdinand van de Veer Hayden during his exploration of the upper Missouri River found proof of Owen's theory a few unidentified teeth he mailed to leading paleontologist Joseph Leedy, mm -hmm. who several years later declared them to be from an ancient extinct Trachodon dinosaur, which beyond ironic. So that's because we can do things like look at modern analogs and see how teeth are fucking made. <laughs> we know if it's a predator or if it's prey. We know if it's an herbivore or a carnivore. We know how teeth are fucking built. Even back then, even when they're doing naturalistic drawings like this, it's like like the the the, the megalodon tooth on my arm. It is a predator. It's obviously a serrated. Is it chewing. megalodon or megalodon? You're, How do you say it? It it's, it depends. Your your emphasis can be on a different syllable. Okay. It's it's both. It's, it's like, not like nuclear and nuclear. No, no, because because it doesn't have two U's. <laughs> um, but it's spelled it's spelled the same but it's like dimetrodon or dimetrodon okay. it's it, the same thing megalodon or megalodon oh god you're keep wow going, keep yeah going. keep doing Play this what is it 20 tooth. minutes <laughs>